hey guys hope all are fine this is the part 2 for top 32 questions i think uh, so many people are seen for this part 1 video there are also the very good questions and this is very helpful for them for qq engineer welding inspector and qc inspector and this is the very also top 32 questions uh, it is there and uh, this is totally as for as me section 9 questions so you can get help for the any of the interview questions or if you are going to attend any inspector um, course welding inspector course this will be very helpful for them and uh, very important things that uh, those people still not subscribed my channel please subscribe to get regular new updates also uh, it can be grow my channel okay let's start from the slides you can understand the each questions The purpose of the WPS and PQR is to determine that the welder is qualified. The base metals are strong enough. The weldment has the desired properties. The skill of the welder. Correct answer is, the weldment has the described properties. The WPS lists. Non-essential variables. Essential variables. Ranges of 1 and 2 above. All of the above. Correct answer is, all of the above. The PQR must list essential variables, qualification test and examination results, supplementary essential variables, when notch toughness is required. All of the above. Correct answer is all of the above. What is the earliest edition of section 9 recognized by the current edition? 1958. 1992. 1987. 1962. Correct answer is 1962. New welding procedure specifications must meet the addition and addenda of section 9. 1962. Current. 1986. 1995. Correct answer is current. Each shall conduct the tests required by section 9 to qualify the WPS as used during the construction, alteration, or repair. Welder or welding operator. Manufacturer or contractor. Inspector. All of the above. Correct answer is manufacturer or contractor. The records of procedure, welder, and welding operator qualification must be available to the manufacturer. Welder. Authorized Inspector Foreman Correct answer is, Authorized Inspector A welder qualifying with a groove weld in plate in the 4G position is qualified to weld groove welds in plate and pipe over 24.0.D in at least the positions Vertical Flat and Horizontal Flat and Overhead Horizontal Correct answer is, Flat and Overhead A welder qualifying with plate fillet welds in the 3F and 1F positions is qualified to weld groove welds in plate in the positions. Flat only. Flat and horizontal. Flat and vertical. None of the above. Correct answer is, none of the above. A welder qualifying by making a groove weld on pipe with an OD of 3 4 inch in the 5G position is qualified to weld groove welds in. 1 half inch OD pipe in the overhead position. 6 inch OD pipe in the vertical position. 3 4 inch OD pipe in the horizontal position. None of the above. Correct answer is, 
6 inch OD pipe in the vertical position. In general, qualification on groove welds also qualifies a welder to make stud welds, overhand welds, fillet welds, all of the above. Correct answer is, fillet welds. Sharpie V-notch tests are performed to determine a weldment's tensile strength, ductility, notch toughness, all of above. Correct answer is, notch toughness. A welder making a groove weld using the saw process on P1 materials may be qualified using radiography. True. False. Correct answer, true. When a tensile specimen breaks in the base metal outside of the weld or fusion line, the strength recorded may be at most below the specified tensile and be accepted. 3.5%. 0.5%. 1%. All of the above. Correct answer, 5%. Guided bent specimens shall have no open defects in the weld or heat affected zone, exceeding measured in any direction on the convex surface of the specimen after bending. 1 16th inch. 3 32nds inch. 1 8th inch. None of the above. Correct answer, 1 slash 8 inch. When using radiographs to qualify welder, the acceptance standards used are found in ASME section V. ASME section 9. ASME section 7. The referencing code. Correct answer, ASME section 9. A WPS must describe essential variables, non-essential variables, supplementary essential variable when required for notch toughness, all of the above. Correct answer all of the above. A PQR must describe non-essential variables, essential variables, results of welder qualification tests, project description and NDE methods. Correct answer, essential variables. The must certify the PQR as accurate. Inspector. Manufacturer or contractor. Welder. All of the above. Correct answer, all of the above. For the SMAW process is an essential variables for the WPS. Groove design. Post weld heat treatment. Root spacing. Method of cleaning. Correct answer, post weld heat treatment. For the saw process is an essential variable for the WPS. Supplemental powdered filler metal, if used. Filler metal diameter. Preheat maintenance. Addition or deletion of peening. Correct answer, supplemental powdered filler metal, if used. The basic purpose of testing a welder is to establish the welder's. Knowledge of welding requirements. Ability to deposit sound weld metal. Mechanical ability to operate equipment. General attitude toward welding inspectors. Correct answer, ability to deposit sound weld metal.
The record of a welder's performance test is called a PQR, WQR, WPS, WPQ. Correct answer WPQ. If a welder qualified with the SMAW process on January 1, 1994 and last welded with SMAW on March 15, 1994, would he still be qualified on October 7, 1994? Yes. No. Correct answer, no. A welder qualifying with a groove weld welded from both sides is qualified to weld without backing, with all base metals, with backing only, with P1 backing only. Correct answer, with backing only. Immediate retests of welders qualifications coupons must use the same method, may use any method, are not allowed, require inspector approval. Correct answer, must use the same method. Welder performance qualification records must describe all the variables specified. Essential and non-essential. Non-essential. Essential. Brazing. Correct answer, essential. A welder depositing 1 slash 2 inch of weld metal with the SMAW process is qualified to deposit up to of weld metal. 8 inch. Max to be welded. 1 inch. 1 half inch. Correct answer, 1 inch. P numbers are used to designate groups of flux, base metals, joints, electrodes. Correct answer, base metals. A welder qualifying by welding P021 to P021 is qualified to weld P1, P11 to P1, P11, P8, P8, P21, P25 to P21, P25, P21 to P21 only. Correct answer, P21, P25 to P21, P25. Welding electrodes are grouped in Section 9 by AWS Class ASME Specification SFA F Number Correct Answer, F Number Ferrous weld metal chemical composition may be designated using P Number Welder ID A Number Page Number Correct Answer, A Number Uh, so thanks for watching the video don't forget to watch the video like the video share the video and definitely subscribe the channel so if you have any questions or if you have any query just let me know so i can explain to you explain to you as far the which clause it is coming or whatever so thanks for watching again so best of luck thank you